Welcome to Supernatural Hour. It's your hour of healing, deliverance, breakthrough, and restoration. This is the moment to receive a life-transforming message. Today's devotion is presented by the esteemed Bishop E. O. Ansa, the revered General Overseer of Eternal Life Church. This week we will treat the subject, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is important that the most misconstrued subject of the Holy Spirit or person of the Holy Spirit will come to light through the teachings of the Word of God. And by the teachings of the word, light will shine forth. Amen. And every revelation concerning the Holy Spirit, God will put you through. And you will capture the essence, the importance, the understanding, the relevance of the Holy Spirit. And I say, I yet tiffa so because you who yes to say what you're born for, and yet you're tiny dear, you're quack of a moa. Now you will free a moa, or dear, dear, you know, hallelujah. There's nothing wrong in going for help, hallelujah. But there is a helper living on the inside of you that you must know. When you know that helper, that helper will answer most of the questions plaguing you in life and will also give solutions to most of the problems also troubling you so by that you will see straight away that this God is a good God that's what this God is hallelujah Amen. and so once we deal with the anointing of the Holy Spirit I need to complete what where from where we left off last Friday Hallelujah. Yeah. I started the tenfold purpose of the Holy Spirit in the believer. And I did the first five. And I'm here this morning to do the last five so that clear understanding like light will come to somebody. Amen. And then tomorrow we will begin with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And you will understand God's plan and purpose of the Holy Spirit and his anointing so that you will grow from grace to grace and from glory to glory. Amen. What a wonderful God we serve. Hallelujah. Amen. So we know here that in Acts chapter 2, when we saw the falling or coming in of the Holy Spirit, the coming down of the Holy Spirit, the disciples who were 120 in number in the upper room in Jerusalem received the Holy Spirit. The Spirit baptism mm. fell on them. Mm. And when the observers who were visitors in Jerusalem and also dwellers of Jerusalem, they questioned them because they thought that they were drunk. And they thought that how come that these things are happening? We are hearing them speak in a different language from what language they were born with. And then Peter had to rise and answer. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember when I went to Israel in Jerusalem, they showed me and I was there in person where Peter delivered the speech in Acts chapter 2. Mm. Oh, what a mm. wonderful mm. glory to God. Amen. So Peter stood up and then he replied them that brethren, what you see is fulfilling the end time prophecy spelled out by the prophet Joel mm. that in the last days mm. say yet the Lord I will pour out my spirit mm. upon all flesh. My Somebody God. say all flesh. All, all flesh. flesh. And my sons and daughters shall prophesy. My old men shall dream dreams. My maid servants and my men servants shall prophesy. So the spirit of the Lord was now coming upon all what? Flesh. flesh. That means all 
those that believe in Jesus will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. It is therefore important for me as a believer to know the aim and the purpose of the Holy Spirit. Praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And now, when the brothers who heard the gospel, the brothers and sisters who heard the gospel Peter preached in Acts chapter 2, they now, in the verse of 37, said to Peter, what shall we do? Brethren, what shall we do? And then the multi-billion dollar answer, which has become the source of salvation to many that have come to Jesus appeared in Acts chapter 2 the verse of 38 and then Peter said what repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus for what for the remission of your sins hallelujah Amen. and then the holy the gift of the holy spirit will come to you Amen. So salvation is on two platforms. Mm. The cleansing of our sins. Hallelujah. Amen. And the penalty of sin. Yes. And then the second platform is what? The giving of the Holy yes. Spirit. But it's not just the giving, but also what? Receiving. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So the gift God is giving, you must receive. Yes. And when you open up and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, you your salvation is complete. Why? Because you cannot work it without the Holy Spirit. You need him to run your earthly walk as a believer in order to qualify for the kingdom of heaven and enjoy eternal life. Is that good gospel? Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So once... I listed out the tenfold purpose of the Holy Spirit. We saw that the first was what? Assurance of sonship. The Holy Spirit grants you that assurance. Yes, because you feel it on the inside of you. For those of you making notes, that is found in Romans chapter 8, verses 15 to 16. The second way, my you know, last Friday, so I am hurrying up here so we can deal with the last five that I have not treated. The second is the sealing of the Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit sets a seal on your life. A seal that separates you from the rest of the world. Hallelujah. Yes. A seal of approval that you are God's property. Yes, and that brings us to number three where we see deposit guaranteeing your inheritance until the day of redemption. So that same Holy Spirit is serving as a deposit or a guarantee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, they don't they will not count themselves out yes. they know that once i am connected to god i qualify yes. and that will give you motivation and inspiration to complete your earthly mm. work also you know that no weapon fashioned yes. against you shall prosper what a mighty god we yes. serve oh then we see the point four now the point four is the spirit baptism and empowerment as chapter 1 the verse of 8 now before I do this let me give somebody 
in the point of two and three, you are going to look at Ephesians chapter one, verses 13 and 14. That is the ceiling and the guarantee, or the ceiling and the deposit. When you are making notes, you need that. Then in the point of four, I said spirit, baptism, and empowerment. As chapter one, the verse of eight, and you shall receive the holy, what well, you shall receive, Power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. So after the Holy Ghost baptism, what comes to you? Power. And what power is the power to witness for Jesus? So you become a proof producer that Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. A proof producer that Jesus is still working through you. And that is very important. We now the point five of the tenfold purpose of the Holy Spirit is what? The gift of the Holy Spirit. Now the gifts, somebody says it is important for you to know the difference between the gift of the Holy Spirit and then the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now the gift of the Holy Spirit is the whole package of the Holy Spirit himself. You know, coming to the life of the believer. And how do I know that? Peter said it in Acts chapter 2, the verse 38. Repent and for the remission of your sins and then receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. But when we come to the gifts of the Spirit or the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we are dealing with spiritual gifts. It is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Now, the verse of one says, now, brethren, concerning spiritual gifts, I do not want you to be ignorant. That means some are ignorant. What is ignorance? Lack of knowledge concerning the spiritual gifts. When you don't know, you are selling yourself short because the spirit came to deliver gifts to you and by those gifts, your life will become a walking wonder in your generation and upon the face of this earth. I pray to you, my dearly beloved, that you will discover the gift of the Holy Spirit and believe in the gift and you will start operating in the gift. Whether you are a pastor or not, it is zeroed in on the believer. As long as you are a believer, you can work those giftings. That means I, Bishop E.O. Answer, can visit someone in the hospital with my church member but when it comes to praying for them as soon as i lift my voice the member can gather faith which is the manifestation of the gift of faith from the holy spirit and can now pray them into healing in the name of jesus Amen. when i know what the spirit can do in every believer i will not tell them shut up you don't know what you are doing. You are here. You are here with your bishop and you are rushing. Are you here with me? But when I understand, I can now know what the gift of the spirit is operating in that very member. Important for us to know. Now, let us use the last, you know, um, um, few minutes to deal with the other five purposes. Now, the sixth purpose is the fruit of the spirit. Somebody say the fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit. So once the Holy Spirit has been seeded in you, there must be fruit. Mm. The comforter, the comforter, the spirit of truth, that helper, that advocate has to bear fruits in you. That means if I allow myself and I cooperate with the Holy Spirit, he shall bear fruit in me, yes. which is called the fruit of the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Remember, Bible and can say fruits or see fruit. fruit. Why is now fruit instead of fruits? Why does God call it the fruit of the Spirit instead of fruit? It means 
as one fruit, it has several facets. Hallelujah. Amen. And you must understand that if that fruit has several facets with it, mm -hmm. then you must ensure that you are dealing with all. If not so, some believer will say, oh, as for three fruits, I'm good at, but the four I'm working on. Hallelujah. Amen. But God is saying fruit so that you know that what character you have not developed is now messing up the good side of your character. Mm. Now go to um, Galatians chapter 5, 22 to 23. Elder Echo, mm. read that for us. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Go ahead. Joy. Joy. Peace. Peace. Forbearance. Forbearance. Kindness. Kindness. Goodness. Goodness. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. Gentleness. Gentleness. And self-control. And self-control. Against such things there is no law. No law ah. in this life or in the word of God can contend mm. with the bearing of the fruit of the spirit. Yes. Once you have these qualities or character, you are complete. Yes. Oh, you yeah. qualify for eternal life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh Lord, yes. may we bear the fruit yes. of the spirit. Yes. Because if the spirit of the Lord really lives in you, mm. then and you must bear the fruit thereof yeah. that will prove that you are a carrier of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, won't me and more bravo anyhow. Yes, won't me in casa anyhow yes, without discipline yes, and never internet so. Yes, because social media so next shem krofwa ye free ye mu even a de kam for next shem kasa ye free ye no mo ba by the fruit you will know them hallelujah so when you carry the spirit of God you will bear this fruit you are gentle you are faithful hallelujah you are kind you carry love joy flows in your life and if you are not bearing this fruit you go to God and say to God father help me bear out the fruit vulgar language cannot come out of their no. mouth. You will not showcase yourself as a rock star when you know you are a star in Jesus. Oh, Jesus. oh Father, we give you praise. Mm. Because you said, yes. Now let's go to point seven. Those that are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God that is found in Romans 8 14 a call let it flow Romans 8 14 so those that are led by the Spirit of God they are the sons of God so we complete the point of seven the point of seven means the spirit of the lord leads us mm. hallelujah amen. amen so may we allow ourselves to be led in jesus name amen. so we deal with point eight point eight is that the spirit of the lord has a purpose of interceding for us yeah. hey, yo, Many a time, people promise us, I'm praying for you. Yeah. And you are not even sure whether they are praying yeah. or not. Ah, my God. What caught up trouble? Obiasha, Obasi, Oya, Konjri, Bao. Mika says, Odi, Panu, Ni, Milo. I want to talk. I want to talk. Paulo Libilo and the milk and cow. So I am conscious about. Cause you fufu is in it. A rade boy. Nyame on kongro boy. Di ma ye wati. Ne ni pa she ye boy. Wan miso. Hallelujah. Romans eight twenty six. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. The Spirit of the Lord helps us in our weakness. Oh, we do not know what we ought to pray for. We do not know.
know what we ought to pray for. Who bump here for Christmas shoe? Me was so accident be that when he may be child. I had to Zabaya Bariada, Lezu Dakuriaba, Lazu Kato, Mereka, Lizua Kuriama, who bump here when he see a bisso, say Radimasa Brantia when you day, Ongareme, who soon him as our papa soon. Kaliadori. Somebody say Holy Ghost. But the Holy Ghost will more. Oh, boy, you know what you do, man. Hallelujah. With words, with words that cannot be explicitly expressed. Now, go ahead. Let's see this. It's getting interesting. May the Spirit himself intercedes for us through the wordless groan. Hallelujah. The Spirit himself. Holy Ghost no one kasa kasa. E shasi se ye day e diama o onyame on konkro. Let's na ye muati. Onyame on konkro. Have your own way. Onyame on konkro. Ye o di mama me wai. Na me pa ye en fakwam. Hallelujah. Me body e me body e me body e. Ne drew be beer na huna ma ye day. But wa wu ye onyame on konkro no. Wu nim ni ye hi ame. Wu nim be beer se me hiti. In you, oh God, I know I will not miss the part of destiny. Mm. Mm. Ye move to the point nine because ye pentem ye time as soon. Number nine, guiding you into all truth. Mm. So the spirit of the Lord with you in you will guide you into all oh. truth. So when you are in a place that lies are prevailing, you will get the prompting of the Holy Ghost. Say, oh. baby, I want to get it. Hallelujah. Amen. And ne Misreka, baby, baby, a koye baby, a onyame on kunkru eni ho, eni pana take show no, eni wo rani show no, ye utu ye sika kesiye, e wo counseling, ye ye bu komu, e bu okre e timi peja a busma kotre a a dry, ye si sa uto we se sa two thousand a, ne so di kotu demo, e afed ye di na emre ye dry, oh ya me mi ni anya sa so. That is the problem. That is the problem. That is the problem. And you want to careful. You will be influenced by the wrong person. On certain akuma because a home concrete you more a better trail. Hallelujah. And so be very careful where you go. But the Holy Spirit in you will guide you into all truth. And it's a year four one nine. Say your kululu kalala. Holy Ghost be you a free one. Hallelujah. Because if you just say a be ya uba prekupe na yeni wokra a di we wura dangun. May you be guided into all truth. John 16, verse 13. Come on, Elder Echo. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes. But when he, the spirit of truth, who is the spirit of truth? The Holy Spirit. Go ahead. When he comes, comes where? He comes to live in you. Yes. He will guide you into all truths. He will guide you into all, not some, but what? All. all. He will not speak on his own. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears. Hey, he will speak only what he hears. He hears from who? Jesus. And he will tell you what is yet to come. And will tell you what is yet to come. Prophetic dimensions. Yes. yes. What is ahead of you? So the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth, including into the prophetic dimension. Hallelujah. Yes, that is the only time you will have access to information in the future that has not yet been made known to mankind yes. on planet Earth. Yes. You've gone ahead because the spirit knows all things and searches all things, even the deep things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so excited. Now let's see the point 10 and nail it and we begin to pray. He will glorify Jesus. The Holy Spirit 
is a Jesus glorifier. Yes. Will glorify Jesus. He is Jesus glorifier. Mm. The Holy Spirit will glorify Jesus. How? Let's see John chapter 16, 14 to 15. Come on, elder, let it flow. He will glorify me because it is from me that he will receive from what he will make known to you. V verse 14 says... The he, Holy Spirit will glorify me. So Jesus is speaking. He will glorify me. How? Because he will receive from me and give it to you. So the Holy Spirit follows through the dictates or the dictation of Jesus. Yes. Whatever Jesus says is what, what he says. So the work of Christ is actually executed by Jesus. And with the ability of the Holy Spirit, you receive the ministry of Jesus, even though he's at the right hand side of God the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Father has the authority. Jesus has the responsibility. And the Holy Ghost has the ability. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm excited. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. So, G now finish that and then we begin to pray. All that belongs Prayer to the warriors. Father is mine. Are you mine. ready? Yes. All that belongs to the Father is mine. All that belongs to the Father is mine. I, 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 this is a proud talk. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I want this kind of pride yes. so that I can walk about yes. saying that all what the Father has is mine. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I, I know of a Lebanese restaurant that they have written or put down this inscription, we own the sea. They don't own the sea. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. We own the sea. Yes. All what our father has is mm. Hallelujah. Go Amen. That is why I said the spirit will receive from me that yes. what he will make known to you. Who? So I said, the spirit will receive from me and make known to you. Why? Because I, Jesus, have re I receive from the Father. And when I receive from the Father, because all what the Father has is mine, I am boldly telling you that the Holy Spirit will receive from me and give it to you. So we know here that the Holy Spirit's information from Jesus brings glory to Jesus. Let us give him glory. Thank you for listening to this episode of Supernatural Hour. We hope that you were blessed and inspired by today's message. Remember, it's your hour of healing, deliverance, breakthrough, and restoration. God bless you. Bishop E. O. Ansa is a prolific Bible teacher or expositor and dynamic conference speaker, and for this cause has traveled to several nations. He holds degrees in computer science, theology, and law, and is committed to the expansion of God's kingdom on earth through Jesus Christ.